Hey guys, it's Brian, SLC Farms. So today we're in the barn, and we're gonna talk about grease guns. So right behind me, we've got the grease guns that we've been using for years. Uh, we've got, uh, I think one of them might have been my grandpa's grease gun, but uh, let's see here. We've got, uh, we got one little battery powered grease gun. I got this thing on a deal for about $40 from Northern Tool. Gosh, 10, 12 years ago. Uh, came with two batteries, a little charger, a little red light special. There ain't nothing much to it. It uh, doesn't even really have a, it was like an OEM or something, tools for professionals. But it's been pretty good. Um, the downside is one of our batteries has gone completely bad. The other one barely works anymore. It just doesn't hold a charge much any longer. We got our traditional style pistol grips here. Um, this one here, it's been giving us some problems. It lost its little ball valve there in the end. And so, uh, little old Lincoln pistol grip, about time to replace it. Go ahead and toss it in the trash. And uh, this is one that my grandpa had here. And uh, downside it, it don't really have a bleeder. Um, and it doesn't work too well. It just sometimes doesn't pump well. But, so, let's go in the shop here. And, uh, well, we're ready to put that new baler to use. It won't be long. Let me turn this air off. There we go. Get it a little quieter. Something that we ordered off Amazon the other day. We, we were looking at the lock and lube attachments. And, uh, this joker right here was on Amazon. This is a pneumatic grease gun. When I figured we got air everywhere and these battery powered grease guns are just a little out of my price range at this moment in time. And uh, I didn't want to spend $300, $400, you know, or on a, on a Dewalt or a Milwaukee uh, battery powered grease gun. And I've got air on the semi, air on our service truck, air at the barn here. Um, I know you got to drag around a little hose, but I think we're going to put this thing together, give it a test, and uh, see what we think of it. Now, I'm not sponsored by Lock and Lube or Amazon or anybody. It's just something we bought, and uh, I thought my viewers might want to see it. It'll do up to 6,000 PSI and uh, 5 ounces per minute. So this thing's got a switch on it you can do from continuous, where it just pumps straight, or you, every time you pull the trigger, it does one shot. And... Uh, it's got the lock and lube coupler with it, a 30 inch hose. So that ought to be nice and long. So let's get it put together here, see what we think. All right, so we got this lock and lube here. And uh, this came just, just in this box, but it was wrapped in brown paper. And that was it with the shipping label on it. I'd already took that off, but we hadn't opened it up yet or anything. So we've got uh, just the box here, we've got a cable. We've got uh, the grease gun itself and the lock and lube. So, we'll just make sure that we assemble it right. I'm pretty sure that there's not really much to it. Maybe just need a little thread tape and uh, we'll put this bad boy together here. Yeah. All right, so let's get some thread tape here. All right, so we got some thread tape. So this lock and lube here comes with a rebuild kit. So this is something that will keep the coupler seal replacement. So you can you can rebuild the end of this lock and lube here, and uh, has a swivel. On both ends here, it looks like. So I don't think we need much tape, just a little wrap or two here.
So we're going to need a wrench or two here out of the toolbox. Let's see. Sixteenths there will do. Now we just need a second one. There we go. Is uh, grease getting all over me for sure? Make sure that their connection is tight. No, nope. in fact, I'm gonna put some thread tape on it as well. So, this comes with a factory swivel on the, uh, the end of this line here. That's pretty nice. That way that coupling can swivel however it needs to. We just screw this right on here. Put a little couple of wraps of thread tape. And uh, two wrenches. So guys, if I'm talking funny for the next month or so, been diagnosed with Bell's palsy. Um, doctors really don't know what brought it on. It's kind of kind of common, they say, in people, us humans. But uh, yeah, look at that, nice and swivelly. It's just something I'll have to deal with. Um, they put me on protocol steroids, like they do everybody else, and I'll go back and see them shortly. Um, I'm already done with the steroids, but. Uh, not really any change. I don't have any use of the whole right side of my face, folks. So my mouth isn't working right. My uh, eyebrows aren't working right. Uh, my eye isn't working right even. It's just a little frustrating, but it will pass. Um, it could be a lot worse. Thank goodness it wasn't, wasn't something else um, worse. But, uh, so, just a little bit about what's going on with me. And uh, something I don't do a lot of, probably should do more of, is some uh, channel shout-outs. And while we're down here in the, in the shop getting this grease gun ready, I want to give uh, Ted at QView Farms a big shout-out. Ted, like myself, likes to do live streams. And YouTube's changed a few policies, and... You must have a thousand people to now subscribe to your channel to be able to uh, got it all put together to be able to to live stream. And uh, Ted, like myself, is smaller, and we don't have a thousand subscribers yet, so we aren't able to live stream off our mobile device right now. Um, but hopefully, we will get there. So I go over and check out Ted at Pewview Farms. I'm gonna leave a link in the description because I know it's hard to understand me. And the next one, guys coming up on 500, just like Ted, uh, it's going to be SOT Metalworks. And uh, you can find them, uh, I'll believe a link as well. Great signage, um, sh uh, shooting targets, all that kind of stuff. Does some really fun live streams. Um, but go check Junior out over at SOT Metalworks. Let's help him get over that, uh, that threshold as well. So, uh, guys, let's... Uh, Let's go check out those uh, channels and watch some of their videos and let's put some grease in this lock and lube here. Something really cool about this lock and lube, it's got like a grease fitting mounted on the top and that's a storage area. You push down on this, this unclamps the lock and lube here. Sit these wrenches down so when you squeeze this trigger it unclamps here. And you just, that's how it hooks on a grease fitting right there. You just take that and locks it right over and then you're ready to go got an air switch right here is our switch you can just uh turn this and this is what uh does our our uh, full it, it single shot or continuous pump is what this does bleeder valve right here on top so let's get some grease 
Alright, so we got our grease gun here put together. And uh, I got me a tube of grease. So uh, I'm not here to advertise for any kind of grease. Look, just grease your machines. Everybody wants to use this, use that. Uh, this is Tractor Supply Premium Heavy Duty Grease. Uh, for use with trucks, trailers, tractors, cars. It, 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 it's grease. Lubricate the thing as it should. And you don't have to buy the best of the best. Don't buy the cheapest because uh, cheap lubricants will never do what they're supposed to do. You, you get what you pay for. But in the same aspect, this is just good old red and tacky. So if anybody's never filled a grease gun before, what we do is we pull this joker out here on the end and this will lock over. There's a little, there's a little line in there. I don't know if you guys can see that line or not, but it just locks over when you, you can see that little groove there. And you let and that locks in this little area here. And then we unscrew the top of our grease gun. Now guys, I'm no filmer, so I don't know how this footage is gonna look, to be honest. But we got an empty grease gun here. Now what we do is we take this black cap off right here. You can see our grease. That slides right down in here, like so. And we take this, it's got a little pop-up tab. Pull that off, wipe that right there so we don't make too much of a mess. This cap makes a perfect place to stick that cap. Then you don't have a mess. It's the biggest thing, everybody wants to make a mess with their grease gun here. We don't want that. So, this thing's brand new. Everything's gonna be stiff and tight on it and all that good stuff. But now we just take, don't cross thread it. That's another issue you could have. Make sure it fits up right. There we go. And then just screw that rascal right on there. Now while I'm screwing it on, I like to hold down on the bleeder valve. And we screw that on like so. And then we just take this, pop it in, and push the handle and that it uh, should be ready to go. We're gonna fire some air up to this bad boy and see what happens. Let me go get an air line real quick. All right, so we got us an air hose here. I heard it do something. Uh-oh. We did not stay on. There we go. All right, let me get a rag and we'll, uh, We'll just pump a little of this in the rag and see what happens here. Again, this is my first time and y'all's first time shooting this thing. So, right now it's on the single. Let me, uh, all right, that's continuous here. It's going to take it a minute to get primed. There it goes. And she's pumping grease, folks. So, let's go grease a machine. And uh, see how it works. That's the next step. So we just put that on there like that. That locks it down for storage. So let's go grease a tractor. Who 
regardless of greasing, keeps your pins and bushings from wearing out. Very important to grease your machinery. Very important. You want longevity out of your stuff, grease it. This might not be the most exciting video to see, but I will say I really like this little locking loop. Thing works lovely so far. I mean, no grease seals. I really like the air power. Thing works great. So, got a loader all greased up. I got one more fitting here on this front wheel to grease. We got to crank the tractor real quick. And uh, that'll be it for this tractor to grease it. And we're gonna blow out the radiator. Well, we got our new grease gun all hung on the wall. And uh, I will say, guys, I really, really am impressed with this little thing. Um, it uh, did an excellent job. I really like the lock and lube coupling. I think it uh, is a great addition to any grease gun, even if you didn't want the air powered lock and lube. I think the coupling is really good uh, great addition so that's that's something for any any guy that's got a lot of equipment to grease with hard to reach grease fittings that kind of thing get out and grab you a lock and lube uh, if, if that's something that you're looking for but uh, otherwise I really like that little air powered grease gun I think it's gonna be great for our operation so guys uh, remember if you've watched this far go check out Ted at Pewview Farms and uh, Junior at SOT Metalworks Let's give those guys some support. And uh, remember, if you want to hear all of our latest videos, subscribe to our channel. Hit that notifications bell. It's free. YouTube doesn't cost you a thing, guys. Just sign up. It's real easy. All they want is an email address. And uh, you get all the latest notifications when we post videos of uh, what we're doing in the field and all that kind of stuff. So remember, hit that thumbs up. Leave us a comment. Subscribe. And uh, everybody have a great day. Thanks for watching.